Are you worried that summer's just around the corner and you've been laid up all winter on the couch watching TV, freezing cold, snow, and you just haven't gotten to the gym and your diet's been pretty crappy too. And you added a lot of excess unwanted weight, especially around the midsection. I'm going to tell you what you need to do to get yourself back in shape and ready for the summer to give you that beach body. But what I'm going to tell you are things you need to follow. It's up to you to do these things. Getting fat didn't happen overnight. So to expect a miracle to happen in a month is very highly unlikely. Not that it's impossible, but I'll explain to you what you need to do coming up after this. Hey guys, Coach P here. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to talk about getting yourself out of the winter blues and the winter excess baggage that you put on and we're going to get your ass back in shape, okay? What I'm going to tell you are the cold, hard facts. I'm not here to hurt your feelings, but I'm here to tell you, I've been in your shoes before. I've been as heavy as 350 pounds, and I was a champion bodybuilder back in the 80s. But as I got older, I got type 2 diabetes, all the shit medication in the world, excessive body gain, uh, weight gain, 350 pounds. I did something about it. I was still going to the gym, but I wasn't getting any muscular. I wasn't getting any leaner. So the first thing I had to attack was the diet. I know you hate that fucking word diet, everybody does, but it's a lifestyle of eating, especially if you're over the age of 40, 50, 60. Diet is everything. Whether you're in the gym training or you're just watching what you're eating and not training at all because you can't stand to fucking train. The choice is yours. But I'm gonna tell you right now, your diet has to get cleaned up because as we get older, we get what we call insulin resistant. You're not metabolizing the fats and the complex carbs and the sugars that you once did in your earlier years. So what you have to do is take out the complex carbs. Take them out to the point where you're at your lowest, 50 grams of complex carbs a day or lower. When I started my keto journey two years ago, I was on three types two diabetes medicines, and I eliminated the complex carbs. I totally took them out. And I went from 350 pounds down to 300 pounds the first year. Slowly, I didn't do this overnight. I didn't starve myself. All I did was change my eating habits. No sugar, no complex carbs, no pasta, no breads, no rice, no potatoes, none of that stuff, okay? When I went after the injectable insulin that I was on, I hit keto hard again, and I brought my body weight down to 270 pounds from 2022 to 2024. I went from 340 to 350, all the way down to 270. My A1C is 5.7. And let me tell you something, changing your diet and making your diet a lifestyle of eating is not a difficult thing because there's so many things you can do with the foods that you love to eat right now. You just have to cook them a little differently. It's not difficult. Everyone says, oh, I need my carbs, I need my carbs. You're full of shit. You don't need your fucking carbs because all your carbs are gonna do is get you fat. Because look at yourself. Are you fat now? Be honest. I was there, yeah, I was a fucking fat ass, but I did something about it because I was a champion bodybuilder back in the day. I had the six pack washboard. I was fucking shredded. Not so much in my later years. I gained all that excess diabetic weight. So you have to change your lifestyle of eating. Before you even step into a fucking gym, you gotta have your mind right to make the changes in your diet. Because even if you go to the gym and you don't change anything in your world of eating, you're not gonna accomplish a fucking thing in this gym except give the gym owner more money in their pocket for you to come in here and lollygag around thinking you're doing something but yet you're gonna go across the street to mcdonald's and order the left side of the menu to eat fucking twice i've been there before i've done it but i ordered it three times especially on the fucking dollar day dollar menu so i'm telling you you have to change your diet first and foremost and once you get on a keto plan everything is going to start falling into place and when you get back into the gym you start with baby steps. You start training on some of the machines, especially if you haven't trained in a long time. You get on the machines because the machines are only meant to do one thing, what the machine was intended to do. There's no balancing act of barbells and dumbbells. It's very highly unlikely that you're gonna hurt yourself on the machines unless you're using stupid weight, ego training, look at me, look at me. Nobody gives a shit what the fuck you're lifting in the gym. You need to lift for yourself. You need to train with weight that you can handle to get the high repetitions, to stimulate the muscle, to get the pump. That's what's more important.
Diet's everything. Training is the other side of the equation that you have to master. It's not difficult, it's common sense. Check the ego at the door. Come in here, start training on machines, and little by little, add some barbell stuff to supplement the machine that you're working. Add some dumbbell stuff. Weight you can handle, controlled repetition, form is everything. Just look at all my videos in my playlist. I cover all the body parts, especially get my training videos. My training videos go into in-depth detail on all the body parts and reversing type 2 diabetes in the keto diet. It covers everything in those training videos. There's a link in the description of, the, of this video for those courses. I highly recommend them and everyone that's gotten these courses has sent me five-star reviews because there's so much detail in these courses. I explain how I reversed my type 2 diabetes by doing the keto diet and I didn't sacrifice anything. I didn't calorie count, I ate when I was hungry, and I dropped the body fat, and I was never chasing the body fat, I was never chasing the numbers on the scale. I was chasing my A1C because I was over 10, and I was still on three diabetic medications. Now I take none of my A1C is 5.7. So, can you change? Absolutely, fucking lutely you can change, but it starts here. You gotta have the discipline, and you also have to learn how to eat. A big thing I'm a big fan of is the all fresh shrimp prep. I've been working in collaboration with them recently and I recently got my package in the mail with 11 different flavors of the all fresh shrimp prep because I love shrimp. And let me tell you, eight minutes from frozen to plate ready. It's absolutely delicious. I'll put a link in the description to the all fresh shrimp prep. They ship uh, overnight, $149 or more order. It's free shipping overnight. You can't beat the deal. It's a pound of shrimp per meal. You add your vegetables, and if you're gonna add a complex carb to the meal, you make sure it's less than 50 grams of complex carbs. The lower, the better. I like it with just vegetables because I don't do the complex carb. So the meal I usually have, the shrimp with asparagus or broccoli, is very filling. It's keto friendly. There's almost no sugar in it because if there was sugar in it, I wouldn't eat it. So like I said, there'll be a link in the description for the all fresh shrimp stock. I highly recommend it. Now, when you are in this weight room, you find machines to target each body part. You can go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. You can go Monday through Friday, Monday through Sunday. Doesn't matter. Train one body part a day. You should be in the gym no more than 30 to 35 minutes to train that one body part. Train smarter, not harder, higher repetition, lighter weight, and you're gonna see the changes in your body. The numbers on the scale are going to decrease. Your appetite is going to start to diminish because you're not taking in the sugars and the complex carbs, which spike your insulin, and then it's a freaking roller coaster all day long of, I'm hungry, I gotta go eat. I'm hungry, I gotta go eat. When you're taking in good fats and good proteins and vegetables, you don't get those glucose spikes like that your hunger gets curbed. Sometimes I eat two meals a day, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four. It all depends on how I feel, but I can guarantee you one thing, there's no complex carbs in my meal, and I eat a very healthy diet. I'm not sacrificing nothing. I eat all the good shit, believe me when I tell you. You just have to learn how to think outside of the box on how to create these meals. It's simple. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I'll be glad to work with you. I have my online coaching available. Check the link in the description for the Buy Me A Coffee. And I'll see you guys back in the gym. Peace out.